Hello, this is Steve Olson for It's a CAD World. What we're going to look at in this video is the ability to create custom forms for eye property editing uh, and also set up a rule to verify that the user has filled in all the necessary eye properties. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up uh, my, my part template. I have a our company template here and that has been set up to have all the eye properties that we need. If I go to my custom tab you can see I have two custom eye properties customer and job number and those are two custom properties that are required on all files. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to my global forms tab down here and I'm going to create a global form. Uh, the difference between a global form and a regular form is that global forms are available in any and all files. So once I'm on this tab, I'm going to right click and say add form. iLogic will open up the form editor. So I have a form over here. You can see I have a, a preview already started or, or showing. I'm going to change my label to be something that's uh, meaningful to what this form does. I'm going to call it iProperty Editor. So now that I have that, I can use the tab over here on the left to add prop parameters, rules, and I properties. So the, the four properties that we're going to worry about are part number, description, and then the two custom properties I showed, job number and customer. You can see over here on the left-hand side, it's already showing me a preview of what I have. I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. So now anytime any user uh, is in this file, they can click on that iProperty editor and it will display that form. Now I also want to create a rule that will uh, allow them or, or will check to verify that they filled all the necessary properties in. So that's going to be an external rule. So I'm going to jump over to my external rules tab. Now I'm over here. I'm going to right click and say create new external rule. It's going to open up a dialog box asking me where I want to save this file. So I'm going to go up here, go into my inventor support folder. I have a folder where I like to keep all of my external rules. And I'll call this I property check. And it'll just ask me about you know, saving outside the project. That's fine. So once I have that, it's going to then open up a dialog box where I can key in my rule. Okay. The first thing I need to do is I need to add a counter to how many properties are empty. So I'm just going to create a variable called empty properties and set that equal to zero. So we're going to add to that counter whenever we find a property that is empty. So I'm just going to have a couple if-then statements that test the length of the property and verify that it's got, it's, it has something meaningful in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the if-then. So I'm going to use my if-then quick adder here, or um, hotkey for that. So my expression here is going to utilize the length test for strings. So over here on the left-hand side, under strings, I'll find the ELN for length. So I want to say if the length of certain properties is zero, then we're going to add to our empty property counter. So if length, come up here to I properties. Part number is one of my important I properties. So if length, I properties project part number equals zero, then we're going to use. We're going to take empty properties equals empty properties plus one. So uh, any of you that are not familiar with programming language, that's a, just a very quick and easy way to add one uh, to a property in terms of counting. So this statement here, we just need three more occurrences of it to check against the other three properties. So I'm just going to paste So 
I'll paste a couple of those in there. So I just need to change the second one here to be for the description. So I can highlight that there and go description. Got an extra parenthesis there. Then the other one here, the other two, will be custom property searches. So I'm going to highlight this. Under iProperties, there's custom. And then I just have to put in the property name that I'm dealing with. And the first one was job number. and this one's going to be customer. Okay. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to go through all those and see if there's basically empty properties in those. If it is, it's going to add one. So the next thing we need to do is need to determine what we want to happen if we find uh, a property that is empty. Uh, I have three things that I want to have it do in this case, uh, which obviously probably be a little bit overkill, but at the same time it would be uh, um, just showing you some different options that you have. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have an if then statement that basically tests if our empty properties is greater than zero. If it is, it's going to carry out the actions I tell it to do. So I'm going to take my my properties here, or my empty properties. I'm going to copy that and paste that that is greater than zero, then what do I want it to do? What's kind of a neat thing is over here on the custom tab, under my snippets, there is a Windows voice command option, which we can actually have the user get some verbal feedback that they need to fill in these I properties. So let's double click that, it'll add that rule. I would like to have these indented a little bit here just uh, so, I under, so I recognize that it is underneath my empty properties. So basically it's just going to initialize that voice command and then here I just need to have it state what I want it to do if or what it to say uh, at this point. So I'm going to say not all I properties have been filled out. Another thing I can do is I can have it display a message box to s display to the user, hey you haven't filled all your your I properties in, you need to do that. So I'm going to use the Wizards tab here and go to um, the Message Box Wizard. Have it uh, have its title be I Properties Check. We'll have it be an error message. Have an OK button, and then we'll have it say Not all. I properties have been filled out. Please enter the appropriate. Please enter the appropriate information. If you want to see a preview of your box, you can hit this preview button. Not all I properties have been filled out. Please enter the appropriate information. Looks good, so I'll say okay. Then saying okay here will then cause it to uh, add that line to my rule. One more thing I'm gonna have it do is on the system tab over here, I can have it display a form for the user. So basically what's gonna happen here is it's gonna see that there's an error uh, that has an, an empty property. It's going to give the user a verbal feedback going to then give them a dialog uh, an error message and then I'm going to have them show a global form. Now notice that there's a couple options over here of global form. Uh, if we use the modal option you'll see show global form which prevents you, uh, prevents you from running other commands while this is visible which would actually probably be a decent thing to try to make the user do this. So now I just need to tell it what form I want it to, to show. And we call, we'll say I properties 
I have property <coughs> editor. Say so, okay. And well actually when I do this it'll it'll then actually launch the rule and we probably should get our verbal feedback. Let's see. Not all my properties have been filled out. A lot of my properties have been filled out. Please don't need appropriate information. Say so, okay. The thing I want to do before I save this and, and, and exit, the, exit uh, the template is that I do want this to uh, display to the user or, or run this rule, this external rule, whenever the file is saved. So basically the, the, the scenario here is the user is going to save their file, it's going to run these checks and then prompt them to uh, make these changes uh, before, they, before they save or before they exit. So I'm going to switch over to my manage tab here, go to my event triggers, and then I'm going to go before save. So if I click before save here, I can then say select rules. You can see here I have my I property check rule. I'll check that, say OK, say OK, and then I'll save my Not template. All my properties have been filled out because I'm saving and it's going to do this. This is my template, so it's not a big deal that these are not filled out. I'm going to close this, and so now it's in my template. The users are going to be able to see that uh, whenever they start that. So let's try that here real quick. Let me start a new file from our template. Let's make a quick little box here. I go to save this with my project. Not all my properties have been filled out. So the user's going to have to fill this in. Save done. Save it again. Now I don't get those errors or anything like that. Thank you for watching this video. Please look for more iLogic videos on It's a CAD World. Thank you.